Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video on ELK stack. So in this video we are going to talk about different Node.js libraries which we can use for logging. So there is a Nest.js Pino and Nest Winston or using Winston library. So Winston and Nest Winston are doing the same thing. Nest Winston is like more integrated with the Nest.js. Nest Pino actually another library which is using existing Nest.js logger. And there is a Winston library, independent library, which you can use with the Node.js and also can be integrated with the simple Nest.js for logging. There you need to write a custom logger. So let's get started. Let's explore these things one by one. So let's start with uh, one particular module. So here what we are going to do is this is our same uh, repository Nest.js advance. Here I have created a Nest.js logger folder and I will just install the required modules. First of all, let's start with the Nest.js Pino. Actually, this is a module which is also popular when you want to don't want to use a Nest.js or Winston or Nest Winston. Then you can just use just an existing setup. Uh, I need to install this in the right directory, I guess. Nest Winston Pino. Right uh, now I'm able to install it. So PNPM add uh, Nest Pino. So this is the module which we have installed. So Nest Pino doesn't use uh, out of the box, I mean out of the box it supports the existing logger module. Right? If you see import logger module from the Nest Pino and we are just doing a logger module dot for root. Right? So what, it, what we will do, it, we just import this and uh, whatever the existing logger we were using, I mean I am building on the same code base so I will remove the existing logger and in the main dot ts what changes we are going to do so because uh, Nest Pino is actually extension of your existing logger which we are using. So logger is coming from Nest Pino and here app module and we can just simply say is a buffer logs true. That's it. We don't need to do any anything else on top of that. And here we can just simply do is a logger. So that is important part in the main.ts what we are doing is app.use logger app.get logger and logger is coming from Nest Pino. So this is the minimal setup which you need to use Nest Pino and here you are initializing this particular module logger module dot for root. Now you can add some logging in your application like uh, here this dot logger dot log. Right and this logger is coming from Nest Pino. So npm run start debug and here if you see the default logging which Nest JS was providing and what is the difference here it has added couple of more argument like level time. PID namespace context right and then route path name and all so it is just extending whatever we, we were having earlier and it is very easy to set up uh, we can also take a look on to the documentation so this is a nest pino setup and what we are doing uh, here is very simple first of all install add this particular module then logger module dot for root and in the main dot ts simply app dot use logger that's it now how to use this particular logger in your code that we can check here in this class what we are doing is we are extending so the important part is the nest pino is it is extending the logger provided by nest.js logger so in this particular class if you see what we are doing import logger from nest.js common and then it, and here we are creating the logger instance new my logger my service dot name and this dot logger dot verbose this dot logger dot debug so what it is doing indirectly it is extending what nest.js is providing so we haven't created any custom logger class nothing we are just using the same logger which is coming from nest.js common and then we are doing this dot logger dot log debug verbose but we change the internal definition of the logger which is being used by nest.js by saying app dot use logger app dot get logger and this logger is coming from nest.js pino but while you log the message that logger instance is coming from nest.js common. So overall it is using nest.js standard built in logger and the logs are being produced by Pino internally. Now the next library we are going to explore is a Winston. I mean uh, when I was developing node.js I was using a Winston library a lot. It provides a lot of flexibility, a lot of transport modes. If you see here I created a winston.create logger. And here I am defining what all transport mode I, I want. Okay, I, I can write the logs into a file. I can put the 
logs console onto the terminal and if you are using not equal to production then i can also put the logs on the console right so winston uh, supports different transport modes so i created a copy of the existing project because here we are playing with a different logging strategy or different logging modules so existing i copied it and then i will just change it to 28 and this is nestjs winston logger and we will play with the winston here uh, winston provided different logging strategies and all with battery we change the the package uh, name project name because we will do pnpm install and this is the pnpm workspace if you want you can also use an SCS workspace which is very powerful this is the existing project so I don't, I don't want to make lots of changes here now let's install our required modules here so first I will create a logger config logger service so logger.service.ts logger.config.ts and then logger.interface.ts I mean whatever the required things logger.module logger.config because uh, all these things logger configure configure management logging management uh, external interface all these can be a separate library or separate module okay always separate them you can create a folder inside a source and you can write everything inside that so we will just do pnpm add winston uh, winston is actually a module and yeah winston and if you want to do the log rotation then there is a different file you want so these are the different transport modes which i want to use in my application so it will take some time uh, i need to refresh the vs code also after i install the particular library sometimes so i got the winston from winston and now i can just do new winston dot transport and inside transport you can just see what are the different uh, transport modes it is supporting it's a transports dot console okay and you just pass all the arguments inside this like okay what all things you want so format log level and uh, how your logging should work when you are actually printing it on the console so format timestamp colorize and print up whenever you finally print the log statement it should have a timestamp log level then second uh, transport mode yeah, i want to the file so i want to put a file name with the date stamp logs application inside a logs folder and date pattern Keep archive true maximum size and maximum files and log rotation will take care of rotating the files and purging the old files that is important i have used the log rotation on ec2 instance it really works well for your production application also you can do this it automatically keep purging the files from the logs folder and you also need to install the winston daily rotate file okay so it will create a log rotation file inside the logs folder and it will save the logs there so whatever the logs uh, we, we want to have we can write them onto the file and then maybe like the file bit in the elk stack can read this file and can push the, those logs to the log stash to the elastic search and then we, using kibana we can just visualize it now we can write our uh, logger service custom logger service which we are writing here we have written just a logger transport different transport which we want to support with the winston so we are creating a custom logger class like app logger service and uh, logger.info logger.error it's just a simple uh, class which contains all these methods like app logger service injectable and you can define all the log error debug verbose method and you need to use the logger instance provided from the logger config right because we have created a logger instance inside a logger config passing all the different transport and then you can just do logger warn error info and debug now just a logger module logger module will just import all the logger service inside this and export an app logger module so or whenever you write a custom your own module always prefix app so you will know okay this is your own custom logger module app logger app logger config app config service app config module something like that that just a a different way of uh, file naming or module naming so you know okay this is something which you have written because config service is provided by nest.js logger module is provided by nest.js also so you can just change that syntax by putting a prefix app okay now inside this i will be just using app logger module here so logger module dot four root we can remove because we are not using nest pino here we are writing our own custom logger module so app logger module you import and 
Later, we can just use any particular service. Inside this service, we can just do a constructor injection of app logger service. So here I need to provide app logger logger and app logger service and provide a dependency injection of that logger service app logger service and then you can just do simply is this dot logger dot log so we already got the instance simply do as this dot logger dot log logger dot log logger dot info logger dot debug verbose whatever the method you have exposed right so this is now using our custom logger here you can set uh, logger dot you can also set a context okay okay context is nothing but maybe a location maybe application name and whatever is information which you want to set additionally which you can set here now i will restart the application and try to test it this is yeah this is what i'm talking about logger module and i will start the application to see how my logs look like now when i'm hitting a particular endpoint So yeah, this is the logs I'm hitting and I'm hitting just a curl API V1 health endpoint again and again to generate the logs. And this is my log looks like, okay, and defined maybe the context is by being passed and defined, which we can fix. So here this dot logger dot log, we can pass the context. Context is nothing but okay, maybe a service name which you are using, right? So that can be a another argument. So you know, okay, this log is being generated from this particular service or from this particular method. So if anything happened, you already know, okay, this execution is inside this particular service and this method, which is causing a problem. And now I am doing it again and I can see doing health check. Let me check the context. Okay, there was a typo which I fixed. Context, context. Context is actually second argument. And here you can see and this is the file because we are using two different trans so as we are using two different transport mode file and console base this is the logging file inside a logs folder you can see application and date stamp dot log file has been generated with this much content right whatever we see on the console is also being written to the file so the, these are the two different transport with the elk stack we will also using this logs test transport elast elastic search transport and you can push the data to the Elasticsearch directly or maybe to the log stash and then Elasticsearch or maybe a file bit is reading the file which you have written from the log so file bit will read the file and it will push that to the log stash log, log stash will filter and transport will write it to the Elasticsearch and Kibana will visualize it so this is the how the whole chain is working okay there is another module which I want to talk about is a nest Winston Maybe you don't want to use a Winston, this configuration, this module you don't want to write. Then you can also use the Nest Winston. Let's take a look on to that in the next video.